Fairfield neighborhood is shaken after a brother and sister are stabbed repeatedly this afternoon in their home. It happened on Judy Drive around 3 o'clock. Nine News reporter Jay Warren is live on the phone with new information on the victims and the search for a suspect. Jay? You know, we can tell you that uh, Fairfield police do, in fact, have a suspect, though they are not naming that individual at this time. This is in the 5800 block of Judy Drive here in Fairfield, where, again, a brother and sister stabbed. Uh, police tell us these are uh, an adult brother and sister, and neighbors are telling us uh, that they are both attorneys and that the sister, in fact, uh, is a works for the uh, Butler County Prosecutor's Office. Now, this suspect may be driving one of the victim's cars, uh, at this point. This is something that the Fairfield police are looking into, that there's a car that is normally parked here that is not here at this time. Now, as Clyde said, this has most certainly shaken the neighborhood. We spoke to one neighbor who has three children, uh, lives close by, and, and got emotional at the thought that there was a violent crime of this nature in this neighborhood. Uh, again, neighbors telling us quite a bit about uh, this uh, pair, brother and sister. Uh, they're also saying that uh, the, the brother and sister's father uh, and other brother were perhaps the two that discovered them here, again telling us that the woman uh, works for the Butler County Prosecutor's Office. And uh, this neighbor that we spoke to uh, also saying that it just, it just sickens her to think that she was in her front yard today uh, and that these two were inside their home having been stabbed. Uh, and very much needing medical attention, and she knew nothing about it. So just a very grim situation here. Again, uh, 5800 block of Judy Drive in Fairfield. Fairfield police do, in fact, have a suspect, okay, so they are not know. naming that individual, nor have they released the names of the victims in this case. But again, a very sad situation in Fairfield today. Indeed. Uh, Jay Warren reporting live for us this evening from Fairfield.